Have a look at on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I know I've been doing more videos um, just because when I got back from my vacation, I've just been falling behind. So I'm just going to make a lot of videos for as much as I can. Anyway, today's topic is going to be uh, the daily driver, what's on my phone, what ROM I'm running. So for this week, last whole week, I've been running the Nexus 6. I'm going to start switching phones. I feel like if I do daily drive the phone itself, then I can give you a better uh, overview of the ROM itself. Also, I won't be biased towards my favorite Note 4, which I love. But after finding out the raw capabilities, the raw image capabilities on the Nexus 6, I'm just kind of uh, fallen in love with it again. It wasn't my favorite device, but um, I really like the size. Uh, the speakers are pretty loud, the dual speakers. But let's go ahead and do this review. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so I might as well do some of the things uh, that I haven't done before. I want to kind of change it up. So I'm going to show you all the apps I'm using this week. It actually changes and sometimes you don't get a reply from me uh, from Facebook or something or Twitter or whatever. Actually, Twitter I'm usually on. Sometimes I install a new ROM and then I get kind of busy and then I forgot to install Facebook or something. <laughs> I usually use Titanium Backup app, but uh, there are times when I'm using new ROMs, you know, and I just forget to install the app. All right, for this week, you can see all the apps I'm using. Adobe Acrobat, obviously great for PDFs. And Camera FV5, that's awesome. I uh, just got really into it lately. You can do time-lapse, intervalometer, um, take raw images with your Nexus 6, Nexus 5, OnePlus One, all that good stuff. So I have that. Fandango, I just went uh, watched uh, the Minions yesterday, so I have that. And a lot of times I don't actually reinstall the apps until I need it because I'm always going to a new ROM. I mean, I could always make a total backup of it and then transfer it to another phone. Um, but uh, I feel lazy sometimes. <laughs> That's what happened. I have a home security for my alarm system. Um, Hyper Hyperlapse Mobile, I was just kind of playing with this. This thing sucks. You know, I mean, compared to the videos you can make manually, like I showed you, I mean, it's a lot longer, but you can't make any of those videos with the Hi Microsoft Hyperlapse. You can make like home videos and also it doesn't support 4K. All right, other than that, I have Google Korean keyboard because a lot of AOSP ROMs, they don't support Korean language out of the box, uh, especially the stock ones do, but the uh, AOSP ROMs don't support it. So I'm like, what the fudge, you know, because I have, friends you know in korea so i have uh kakao talk katok uh this is what the koreans use mostly uh for it's basically facebook for them and you know twitter for them so that's what i use hey there's elmer hoonig and three others thanks thanks you guys for don't forget to hit the plus one if you're using google plus um also i've got youtube studio if you're a youtuber this is definitely an app you should always have this shows in real time, uh, like how many subscribers I have and, you know, the earnings and stuff. Oops. <laughs> um, so that's really cool. And this ROM actually comes with the Nova settings. Oh yeah, Netflix. I always watch Netflix. And if you don't have a Chromecast, I have like a Chromecast for every TV in my house. I have like three TVs. I just switch, you know, I'm watching movies on my living room. And then at night I go to my... Uh, bedroom and then it's so easy you know because you can just continue what you're watching it's better than smart TV smart TV kind of cannot do it and plus I have an LG TV Sony TV and Samsung TV so having Chromecast is way better even if you have smart TV I would just use Chromecast anyways all right other than that uh, that's all the apps I have installed here for this week and also Lightroom uh, great for editing raw images so I try to not keep too many apps because I'm always switching and you know I just have the apps I need for that week. I mean if you flash a lot of ROMs that might be actually a better way to go because you're not going to have a ton of apps and sometimes some rogue apps can slow your phone down and a lot of people ask me my phone's slow or whatever and you know it could be caused by that one app some you know a lot of like crappy games can do that they have a lot of spyware not, not spyware but you know sometimes they can be weird um so for that you can install uh the network monitor and this is the sign legend mod 
uh, cyanide mods, which allows you to do that. All right, if you go scroll all the way down to status bar, you can go ahead and edit uh, your battery options. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look here. And indicator, icon, circle. Actually, there's not, no, you can customize the circle too, which is cool. Uh, battery bar, if you want it. Now, what I was gonna show you, uh, if you have some speed down, slow down problems, see if you have an uh, indicator enabled. This will show you how much uh, data is being used. If you have any rogue apps that's not supposed to be using data, um, you'll see that going up and down. All right, that's kind of cool. And what I really like is the temperature. Uh, I'm always checking temperature here uh, because, you know, it kind of fluctuates all the time, but uh, I would love having the temperature up there on the status bar. So that's really cool. And cyanide, cyanide mods pretty much has everything you can think of on the a AOSP ROM. All right. Battery life is okay. I mean, it's not spectacular, uh, but the main reason I use it is because it's not bad. I mean, it's average, but uh, all of these options you can play with. One thing I really like is the uh, custom animation. So I got this all customized out. So you see uh, really cool way to customize it. You can also find that in animations, um, go to system animations and you'll see activity, op activity open animation that's glow in from the bottom and glow in from the top. So that's where I'm getting this glow in top, glow in bottom. So you can change that. Other than that, battery life, like I said, is pretty fair. I mean, three hours and 50%, that's pretty good, but it might be because I uh, recharged it while it wasn't all the way down or something like that. Anyway, um, heads up display. Uh, it does, this thing is kind of cool. It has a uh, floating windows. Um, so I, there's actually no way to actually launch the floating windows, but if you get a heads up notification, um, you'll have a floating window, but it's not really a split window, but it's still pretty cool. I'm still trying to figure it out, but a lot of people are kind of there. Uh, <laughs> getting back to me there. As for camera, um, you can use camera FE5 or it actually comes with the AOSP camera. Also, you can go ahead and install Google camera. Um, overall, this ROM is pretty good actually. It is really fast, everything. I have had no slowdowns whatsoever. A ton of features. Hey, there's Marshall Williams' birthday. Happy birthday, man. Um, so a lot of cool stuff you can do. I'm running the 5.1.1. Uh, of course, for root, it has Super SU, so you don't have to enable it like Cyanogen mod. I mean, if you're running Cyanogen mod, um, why are you? You know, you can do so much more. One thing I really like about this ROM, uh, I can also customize the navigation bar. A lot of AOSP ROMs, they only allow you to add like a menu button. And then there's uh, other AOSP ROMs that actually allow you to add your favorite shortcuts. You can do that here, go to navigation bar, enable it, go to uh, nav bar customization. And let's see, go ahead and I wanna add more buttons. See, the good thing with this one is you can do short action, long action, double tap action. I mean, this is the right, correct way to do it. So Sinoid uh, L team got this right, go to applications. And I can go ahead and choose, uh, let's say my Chrome, if I use it often. Now you can, you know, make full use of your navigation bar. Uh, don't be stuck with the stock, you know, something, this is something Sinogen Mod can't do, but I mean, that's why you have ROMs like this. So you can customize the hell out of it. Uh, but what I just showed you was pretty much what I use, you know, all the apps and all the settings I use. I don't use all of it, so I'm not gonna go all, over all of it. But uh, if you're new to custom ROMs like this, Go over everything like ad blocker will block ads. I don't use it because I'm a webmaster. I run a bunch of websites and uh, if you enable that, I won't be able to go into, for example, stat counter, which I go into all the time. Um, so if you're a webmaster, you may want to disable it. But uh, enabling this could disable ads, um, like on games and stuff. It's really cool. You can save your battery life and don't have annoying ads for all those free games. But I do recommend leaving them on. I mean, that's how the developers make money. And that's how I make money. And you know, if you guys all turn it off, it's just like we, we don't make any money from any of the ads. Um, and the money that comes from all these ads, they're not that much, you know. It's we're ba barely making sense, you know, <laughs> if people click on it. Uh, you don't even get paid for views. Well, just a little bit. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. So. 
definitely check it out. Oh, also I'm using the Pi controls here. Uh, this one's really cool. It actually comes with two different Pi controls. You can find that PA Pi control or you can use the Slim Pi. I'm using the PA Pi control. But you can go ahead and also add uh, extra apps here. And this is great because sometimes I want to see the date and I can just quickly go like this, you know, and also see exactly how much battery I have remaining, 36%. So that's kind of cool. And you, also you can toggle your Wi-Fi or easily. Uh, if you do a lot of jogging and stuff, you use your phone one-handed. This is a great way to just kind of get there and just, you know, <laughs> access your uh, buttons real quick. And definitely check it out for this week's Wrong Week. And do tell me what you think of this type of video. Maybe I'll do more of these. And thanks guys for watching this video. That was a review of the Cyanide L ROM for the Nexus 6. It is also available for many other devices. I'll have links on uh, where you can get for the other devices. So check the description. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And as always, I'll stay... <laughs>